Your brain is in charge of your body. It controls just about everything you do. Here's a quick look at how the brain works. The average human brain weighs about 1.4 kilograms. The brain has many different parts that work together. Let's take a look at these five parts. The biggest part of the brain is the cerebrum. It makes up about 85% of the brain's weight. The cerebrum is the thinking part of the brain and controls voluntary muscles, the ones that move when you want them to, so you can't dance or kick a soccer ball without your cerebrum. The cerebellum at the back of the brain controls balance, movement and coordination. This is what makes us stand up bright, keep our balance and move around. Another small but mighty part of the brain is the brainstem. It connects the rest of the brain to the spinal cord. The brainstem is in charge of all functions your body needs to stay alive, like breathing air, digesting food and circulating blood. The pituitary gland produces and releases hormones into your body, which controls growth. It plays a major role in puberty. The hypothalamus is like the brain's inner thermostat. It regulates your body temperature to be around 37 degrees Celsius. If your body's too hot, the hypothalamus tells it to sweat or shiver when it's cold. So the brain is boss, but it can't function alone without the nerves and spinal cord. Be good to your brain by eating healthy foods and doing lots of exercise. Okay, so we've seen how the brain works. Now it's time to see how the brain actually looks, all the mushy stuff. Oh, and Erin, our resident mad scientist, is going to show us exactly how all that works. Exactly, and thanks to Clayton, we have a brain mm. from a very lucky sheep who got to be part of Hipto Me School Let, today. Let's name, it, let's name it quickly, what should we call it? Let's name it Clayton after Clayton okay. who brought it to us. This is Clayton, Clayton sheep brain. Clayton's mm. sheep brain, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this baby open. We're gonna show you what the inside of a brain looks like for real. And Ayanda's gonna go concurrently with the uh, as well so you can get an idea of what it looks like to scale. So we're gonna go straight down the middle. You can see here this is the cerebellum and on this uh -huh. one you can also see this is the cerebellum. Back here we've got, now that's the cerebrum. This mm -hmm. is the cerebellum back here. And if I lift this up here, you can also see all the lovely little brain stem and the medulla oblongata sitting at the back there. Pretty cool, I say. So let's go straight down the middle mm -hmm. and let's cut it open just like this. So it would look like this then? Exactly. So now you can see that you've got your glands, your pons, pituitary gland, all of the central sections of the brain on the inside, which is actually really fabulous. So now you can see exactly how compact it is. A great thing about the, how the brain is structured is that all of this outside material here from the cerebellum not only contains the neurons, but it forms a really tightly wrapped layer of cushioning, which protects all of the glands and all of the central nerve parts that are actually at the bottom of the brain because your spinal column runs up your back mm -hmm. but it actually joins up to your brain at the base which means that all of the central nerves and central parts of your brain is actually housed underneath it so it's completely encased by the cerebrum. How clever is the brain? Very clever. I'm still trying to get over all the blood and the mush but I'm glad. Well as you can see that's just you know, a simpler version because it's all mushy and all bloody at the moment, but that's basically a you basic version of what happens with the brain. You can see that the structures are completely the same. Another great thing about the brain, and I'm going to show you here, this is all soft and squishy, but you can't see that there's a lovely little invisible layer that actually surrounds the brain, and it forms a lovely layer of water in between the two layers. This little soft cushioning on the outside of the brain, along with your skull, forms a double layer that actually protects your brain from any external damage. Mm -hmm. So when it's sort of rattling around your skull, if ever you were, unfortunately, hope not, to be in a car accident, that's how your brain protects itself. Pretty cool. Actually. Absolutely amazing.